Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. I know this is the one you've all been waiting for, thank you so much for your patience and for sticking with me this entire week looking at all these brand new DC Multiverse figures. But today, we got a twofer in the form of the Knight's End Batman. A little bit of a night quest, Batman, as well. Now, there will be a Platinum Edition Jean-Paul Valley Blue Night Quest Night's End Batman. Why did they make a Platinum Edition version of this character that everyone's going to want? It befuddles the mind, right? Everyone's going to want the blue version, the more iconic version, but you see on the box, Azrael Batman armor, Batman Knight's End, and on the back side, you get the red armored version. Now, here's the barcode. They are going to be the same exact barcode from red to blue. Just keep that in mind. And how you get the platinum is that it's a rare chase figure, which means it's randomly packed in. So whether you go to the store, you see it on shelves, you order it from Amazon, they send you the blue one, not the red one. It's that sort of deal. Whatever McFarland does on their side with their lottery, whatever that is, you could try for that as well. But again, it befuddles the mind on why the blue one, the one that everybody wants, would be a random rare chase figure. Do the red one first and then bring up the blue one. It make no sense, right? So if you don't want the blue one, right, the red one for the actual Knights and Batman Looks pretty darn cool. And the red is more of his final form, right? So this will be a standard everywhere release, right? You don't have to worry about platinum. It will be the same exact box, of course, and the same exact barcode. So like I said, they share the same barcode. You can't really track it. And just to show you, yes, they are the same barcode. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, make sure that system of yours is all booted up and set to kill. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. Asriel in his Batman armor, red and blue versions from the Night's End storyline. So we're going to do this right. We're going to start it off with the blue platinum edition version of the Knight's End Batman. And the reason for this is that we can kind of go through the actual storyline from Nightfall to Knight's Quest to then Knight's End. So truth be told, you could technically call the blue one Knight Quest Batman. Now, this is around the time when Jean-Paul Valley started really adding to his suit of armor, right? He has to deal with the corrosive man, Gunhawk, Gun Bunny, all those criminals that really are taking a toll on him, and he's got to soup up his super suit. They really have done a great job on this action figure. I'm actually really impressed by this, especially in the wires for his Batarang Gatling gun, right, and flamethrower. It's very gummy, very rubbery. It's nothing that sticks, nothing that's going to hinder the articulation, nothing that ever will break unless years down the road it gets frozen or hit, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. It's perfect. They did a great job in that sense because then, yeah, you can activate the wrists and get the hands and everything lined up. Although clip-on parts and pieces would always be wonderful along with extra hands. You only get fisted hands for this version of the Knights and Batman. You get a lot of articulation. I like his little flappy shoulder pads right there. The legs will kick out, they'll move with you. The whole pouch band won't get in your way. The spikes won't get in the way, although be very careful with the spikes on the legs. They will knock into the back cape spikes, right? A lot of spikes on this guy. It was the 90s, right? Go figure. The backside, though, is very impressive. And initially, I thought the same thing. He was going to be very back heavy. He's not. He's very well balanced, oddly enough, with all these giant cape spikes, which you get six of them, and they hook in to his back. Now, as you can see, they're all going to be the same exact spike. Again, you get six of them. They're well sculpted. They're actually very sharp, 
but they're very thin. So be very careful with them when you pull them out of the package. And they simply just port right there into the, each of the six notches on his shoulders, which they stay in really solid. Don't throw this thing on the ground by any means. Yeah, that'll do it. But they're in there and they're there to stay. And for that, it's actually a really well-designed Knight's and Night Quest Batman, especially in the head articulation with his Optimus Prime helmet, you get enough clearance between that armored neck scarf piece, right? Everything moves, nothing's hindered, and you would think that this would be a jumbled mess. No, it actually works really well. So for that alone, from the paint, the blue color, to everything that this really brings out nostalgia-wise, they nailed it. And again, just to show you, He's not back heavy, oddly enough. You will have some problems kind of standing him with the initial ball type joints, let's be honest there. But if you have the stand, no problemo. But getting him in that sweet spot, no complaints. He's actually really cool. And this armor really works out, especially when you want to start taking vengeance on all the criminals of Gotham City. Jean-Paul Valley's The System is all out of whack. He's in it to win it at this point. And he's set to kill. Mr. Freeze, Joker, no one will be standing in his way. Unless Bruce Wayne returns. And returns he does. Because he's had enough of Jean-Paul Valley. Jean-Paul Valley is out of control. Amidst the flames high atop Gotham, we have the team up. Batman, Nightwing, Robin, and Selina Kyle have joined forces to finally end Jean-Paul Valley's reign of terror. But... Batman is lost in the fire, Jean-Paul Valley emerges victorious, but now, because of them old fires and flames, he's got this stellar evil red look going on. However comic books work, right? So we truly have the Knights and Batman. And I will tell you this, this is, despite again, everyone going to be wanting the blue, of course, the red version is solid. It will be the same exact figure. But this one, a little bit less known, right? He's towards the end of Night's End, right? This is when Batman really does play with Jean-Paul Valley's mind, gets him to give up being this disastrous Batman. The whole idea was that Batman doesn't need superpowers. He doesn't work as an Iron Man, a Punisher, something like that. He is a man with no powers. He defeats criminals with his body and mind. And it goes to show you of what Batman could become if he becomes this. And for that alone, that is why Jean-Paul Valley, as Bats, as real, is so iconic. And it is displayed beautifully in this figure. And then just to show you the scaling between the whole Nightfall storyline Batman, we'll just wrap him up into three, right? And then, of course, the Knights and Azrael. Yes, they go together beautifully. Again, the figure is awesome. The scaling is awesome. Please, more of this, McFarlane Toys. I'm going to tell you, this is what the fans want to see. This is what I want to see. If you take your time, if you do these characters right, we can all make vids like this one. And just to show you, between all the storyline elements, we have Prelude to Nightfall. Nightfall Batman getting his back broken. Bruce Wayne out of the picture, followed by the Night Quest. John Paul Valley takes over in his proto suit, right? And you see this one for a lot of the time throughout Night's Quest before he really starts to soup things up. Although we can all agree, yes, the coloring is definitely off because after dealing with the superstitious cowardly lot criminals of Gotham City, this is the inevitable outcome for our hero, Jean Paul Valley. A suit of armor, dangerous. Everything is just ridiculously spiky, pointy, gauntlets, flamethrowers. Nothing makes sense. All the pouches. And then after falling into the fire, his armor becomes red. Supercharged by Saint Dumas, the system is in full effect, and that red just really seals the deal in becoming the worst Batman you could ever imagine. But all four of these characters go together beautifully. And for that, that's a nice job well done there, McFarlane Toys, even when looking at Robin and Nightwing. Now, truth be told, Robin is entirely too beefed up, entirely too tall. Does he go well with these? He does, but I wouldn't mind a redo, right? We'll just say that. 
as well as Catwoman and Batman, right? Scaling wise, those will go together. Jean Paul Valley, don't let him around. Selena Kyle, but maybe a redo on her just to fix a couple things. We know what we're talking about there. And as far as Bane goes, even though he's taken out of the story by Jean Paul Valley shortly after breaking Batman's back, even though he's a little bit tall, right? We can all agree on that as well. He does look cool with both of these versions of Azrael Asbats, right? So in that sense, sure, would I like a smaller Bane? But it's not top of my list. And if you have the Sean Gordon Murphy White Knight Batman where you have Azrael and his white armor or his red armor, you could use this as Jean Paul Valley's The System kicking in when he's dealing with his father and the Order of St. Dumas. That's definitely a nice pairing on your shelf. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the blue platinum edition Asriel Asbats armor and the red standard edition Asriel Asbats armor from the Knights and Storyline. Again, I don't understand the choices here of doing the red and then having the blue, which everyone is going to want the most iconic of the Night Quest Knights and Storyline suits. Make it a rare chase platinum. Stop doing that. The fans are not happy. Look at the comments down below. I know it's coming. But I'll tell you, they see the numbers, they see the sales. I would not put it past them to see this figure return somehow, some way later down the road. But you have heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything as bets. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I want to say again, a special thank you to everyone who has watched my videos this week and continues to watch them. I will have the full wave of the crisis coming up. I got that in from my McFarland store. I got some Transformers animated to look at. And we got a Krang from the TMNT Motu crossover. Lots to come. Thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.